The green smoothie is what I often call the beginner smoothie. It's because I put a lot more fruits than I do with the vegetables. But later on, you could be more creative and actually put more vegetables in your smoothie once you get used to the taste. Now, let's start with an orange. With the orange, I like to save as much of the white part of the orange as possible. The reason being is because the white part of the orange actually has vitamin C and bioflavonoids, which is really good for you. So we want to save that. Also, I like saving the peels. Why? Because you can actually use this to clean your container after you make a smoothie. The peel of the orange actually has natural oils that can clean, sanitize, and deodorize your container. So we'll save that for later. For this particular recipe, we're going to use two oranges. And notice that the seeds are also in there because the Vitamix machine can actually pulverize seeds. The next ingredient we're going to use is the pineapple. The pineapple, a lot of people throw this part of the pineapple, uh, which is the core. This contains bromelain, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. And it's good for people with arthritis, joint pain, autoimmune diseases, as well as injuries. The banana contains a lot of nutrients that help control blood sugar levels. The darker they are, the sweeter they are. So before thinking about throwing them in the garbage, save them and freeze them so you can use them for an ice cream, smoothie, or even banana bread. It is a dietary source of potassium that lowers your blood pressure and reduces the risk of heart disease by 27%. The banana is also an excellent food for athletes because it helps with uh, exercise-related cramps or soreness. I love putting spinach in my smoothies because it contains a lot of antioxidants as well as iron and potassium. Another excellent ingredient for our smoothies is a flax seed. With the power of the Vitamix machine, it actually pulverizes the seeds. And did you know that when you grind flax seed, it's only good for two hours and you lose all that nutritional value. So it's always best to consume it right after you blend it. In a typical blender, you need water to make this blend. But with the Vitamix, all we got to do is add some ice. And then we're just gonna cover it up and get this going. When you're using the Vitamix, you wanna make sure that you start with the soft ingredients at the bottom and the hardest at the top. You wanna make sure that you start out at number one. When you turn on the machine, that's when you crank it up to number 10 and you're gonna use the switch and flip it up to high speed. So in just less than a minute, our smoothie is ready to go. And that's how you make a breakfast smoothie. I love this smoothie and it didn't even take that long to make. I usually use this recipe just before I go to work or before and after a workout. Mm -hmm. 